Okay, so the object here is uh, using option two described uh, on the forum in the thread. How do I enable multiple keyboards uh, to uh, be played into Logic such that MIDI through is disabled on, um, on all of those units? Uh, primarily driven by the fact that the person doesn't want to turn off uh, local off on their particular keyboard. So let me, uh, let me start the process. So the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to create uh, two multi instruments in the environment. Uh, that'll be mapped to each of the keyboards. So I have in my studio a um, a black keyboard. I'm going to call it a black keyboard uh, that's going to transmit uh, on channel one, two, and three. It'll have three zones associated with it, and then a red keyboard, which will have two zones associated with it, but it'll transmit on channels four and five. So let's first create the first one. Um, so here it is, and I'm going to call this uh, black synth. One, and uh, I'll just enable those channels, and then I'm going to create a second one. Put it down here, and I'm going to call this one Black Synth Two. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to call this one Red Synth Two, and uh, I'll enable four and five. And now on this one. I'm going to make sure the port is assigned to the actual synth that I have. So there's my black synth, and here is my red synth. Okay, so that's it. So that is now properly set up, and these objects are ready to use in Logic. So I'll go ahead over here, and I'll create five external instrument tracks. Now when I do that, it's going to create an off multi by um, automatically. So we're not going to use that. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to delete that so that so uh, so it's not confusing. Now in each of the tracks, what you're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reassign uh, on the black synth channel one on this track. On the second track, I'm going to assign the black synth channel two. Third track, I'm going to assign the black synth channel three. On the fourth track, I'm going to go to the other synth, the red one. That'll be channel four. And finally, I'm going to assign the red synth channel five. Okay, now, when I look up here, when I play any kind of note, this top uh, piece of information describes what channel is coming in to Logic. This one describes what is going out of Logic. This ultimately is what you want to disable. So when I press a note on one of the keyboards right now, I'm sending the MIDI uh, information into Logic and Logic is transmitting that information back out again. And that's what you want to disable. I want to also mention that um, uh, you'll want to enable uh, you'll want to enable auto demix by channel for multi-track recording. So make sure this is checked. Okay, so now if I highlight each of these tracks, I'm going to hear the respective sounds made by uh, each of those channels on each of those synths. So there you have it. They're all distinct and they're all separate. So if I go ahead and I record enable all these tracks, and then I play on those keyboards. So I'm going to play on channel one of the black keyboard. I'm going to play on channel two, the second zone of the black keyboard. And you can see this up here. There's channel three. There's channel four. And there's channel five. Now, what you want to do is you want to be able to play this but not have that MIDI, um, MIDI through go back. So what I would do is I would create one more external instrument track and I would assign it no output. Now as long as this track is assigned you'll notice that it's highlighted. You'll notice that when I play a note it's not going back out of logic so MIDI through is disabled. However if I have all of the tracks record enabled, now you're not going to hear this on my end just because of the way I have my uh, setup. If I transmit on channel one, 
and here's some on channel two, and here's some on channel three. They're all, they will all be playing for you live on channel five. And then I stop, and there are your um, and there are your recordings. And there was no MIDI through that occurred during that time. So I hope this makes a little bit of sense, um, and that you're able to follow these instructions and uh, and duplicate uh, option number two uh, described on the thread.